well, you know, my, I'm, my, my, I'm the child of immigrant parents, but uh, I've learned a lot of, you know, good blue collar, you know, at work ethics from them. And, you know, I got involved in acting late in life. I was about like 26. Uh, it was after I was a newspaper editor. Uh, and um, I had this really great opportunity to, to do this scene from a play. I wound up on the stage doing a scene from Death of a Salesman. And my character opened up this little 10 minute scene and walks down stage left. And he has to say to, I played happy to the character playing, to the actor playing Biff. And then the first line is, do you hear that? Me referring to Willie Loman going crazy down in the kitchen. He's doing it again. When I said that first line, as much as I was so scared out of my mind and nervous, after I said the line, there was a certain relaxation that came over me. And I could sense for the rest of the play, the audience breathing, almost as at the same time that I was breathing and, and listening and waiting to see what I'm going to say or I'm going to do or what my, my, my co-worker or my, the other actor is going to say or do or what we're going to say or do together. And I realized in that moment this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Um, this being, a, being an actor is what I would call like, you know, uh, a gold collar job. There's blue collar jobs, there's white collar jobs, this is a gold collar job. And um, it's, it's a job that's going to absolutely produce zero calluses on your hands. Um, you get an opportunity to do something where you literally say that I am going to play every day. I am not going to go to work. I'm going to, the, I'm going to go to the schoolyard and play. Or I'm going to go to the park and play. And that's what being an actor is. Again, <clears throat> it's about a certain amount of perspiration and inspiration but it's not about stress and strain. You get this opportunity to do something which you did as a child for free, which is to pretend. Uh, the Closer is, um, I would think, every actor's dream. You have a show that's uh, very heavily uh, character-driven, which is always great to do. Uh, and every year, uh, the producers try to make that uh, that discovery or that journey uh, all the more exciting. Great, and so um, tell us a little bit about the upcoming season and... Okay, the upcoming season as I understand it is about power. Uh, the quest of it and the lack of it. And so every episode is, uh, ha has that in a, sense, in a sense as its theme. Then uh, it's followed up by really incredibly involved plots. That's every actor's dream. Okay, this is uh, Tony Dennison uh, doing his version of an Im improvised Lieutenant Andy Flynn answering a question. Okay, so here's how it's gonna go. I think about, tell you in terms of my philosophy of acting, okay, as the character that I'm acting. And my philosophy is that I look at every uh, scene as an inning in a ball game. And the person's job in that, in that inning is to bring a run from the plate all the way around back to the plate to score a run to win the game. When the scene is over, you get to look at this and see the dynamic of you know, whose role was what. Sometimes you're the runner, sometimes you're the bunter, sometimes you're the guy who hits the RBI. And, uh, but you realize that you're all connected to try to get a run in and win the game. And so the competition is not necessarily against another show. It's not against any one individual. It's against yourselves each week to try to be better and better and better.